Hi, George here, and today we'll be taking a look at the new Minito Movie Maker version 5.0, which just came out. And here we go, when you first launch the program, you get this little pop-up right here. You can make a new project, open an existing project. You can see your project library right down there. We'll be taking a look at a sample I did right here. Or you can go over here and make a video from templates. There are a lot of templates in here. We have nine different templates, a challenge template, love story, photo album, photo book, lovely couple of slideshow, and so forth. You don't have to begin with the template though. It's just as easy to making videos from scratch. Let's just close this down. So I'll open up an existing video. Now one little odd quirk about this program, and that's the menus over here on the right hand side. There it is. It's right there under that little three line icon. Let's go to file and I'll open project. And I have one right here. Just open this up. Let's just take a quick look here and see the kind of things you can do with this. So I'll just click on the play button right there. Now the music came from the program. It's one of the included music tracks. Because we have transitions, we have text, animated text. Real nice, interesting transitions in there. There's some more text overlay. You can set the length and duration of the film clips. You can also adjust the length and duration of each one of these transitions, change the transitions, anything you want. It's very, very flexible that way. We'll let this go ahead and just finish off the last little bit. There's a little overlay right there, a bit of animation. There we go. Now that was very easy for me to make that pretty quickly and I'll show you the process. We'll be doing a few of those steps in there so you can see exactly how well this program works. So let's jump back and begin a brand new file. Get back up to the menu right here and file new project. There we go. Totally blank at this point. We have a timeline down below here. This is your video and still image timeline. These little arrow things. These are your transitions. Below that is a music track right in here, music or audio track. And above that, you can have multiple tracks in here for overlays and also for text. Now, the first thing we need to do is to bring in some files. And that's right here. We're in the My Album section. That's the Media section up here. Click on that and then navigate and find your files. Let me go ahead and just switch over to that folder right now. Here we go. I'm just going to grab just a few of these in here. You can do multiple imports if you want to. Just hold down the Control key and click on the ones you want. Looks pretty good. And I'll bring in some of these. These are MP3 music files. You can also bring in music as well. Okay, there's just a few things. Hit the open button. It's then going to import all of that. And notice that it's importing the videos into the video section up here. It's also importing the music into the music section. That's the first ones right here. From here on down, these are the included songs. And these are the ones we just uploaded. Okay, now working with this is very easy. All you have to do is just to take a video clip. Let's take our first one here. If you hold your mouse over the thumbnail, you can then watch the video clip in a little preview window. Now to get this on the video track, you either can drag it down and drop it onto your video track like that, or I'll hit the delete key. Just click on that plus right there. It does the same thing. So here's our video on that video track. You then can watch your video by clicking on the play button and see what we have. Now I'm going to be going just for nighttime scenes for this little bit of a clip. So this is all daytime and evening stuff. Here's our drop tower right here. And right there, that's the part that I want. So here's how easy it is to trim this. I'm just going to back this up here. Grab the playhead. You can go back and forth in the playhead. You can see the position inside of your clip right over here. This is the total video project length. And this is the position in that video project right now. That's at 12 seconds. And I'll pull it back just until just after I see those feet. Now you can go forward and back a frame at a time here to get exactly the part that you want. And I'll start right here and then back down here on the playhead. There's a little icon there and that will then split that into two sections. And notice when you split that, you get a transition option right here. I'm just going to click on the first one, hit the delete key and there's our first bit of video. Now for my plan, I want just real short video pieces. So I just want to have three seconds. Right now I'm at zero, zero in here. So I'm going to grab the playhead and I'll run that forward until we're at three seconds, which is right about there. And there we go, three seconds. I'll clip it right here, and I can then delete that little bit of video. So there's our first video clip, that easy to do. Let's snug up here. I'll add this clip, notice it comes in the next available spot. And there's a lot of stuff in here that I don't want. Notice that this is a compilation of several video clips. I want just a couple of these pieces, this piece in here and this piece over in here, maybe that piece down there. So I want a few out of this. So Again, I'll grab that playhead. I'll drag it down to the final spot I want. There we go. That little bit right here. I'll get close to it and then I'll find where that starts with the single frame buttons and hit that trim button. I'll hit the delete key to remove that part. Here's our first section. 
Again, I want just three seconds. Now I'm up to 301 at this point. So I'm just going to go to the playhead and bring it forward so it says 601, which is right up about here. There we go. And again, I'll clip that piece out. Now I'll go to the playhead, pull that forward, find our next clip we want to use. Okay, there's this thing right here. That's pretty good. Same thing, I'll back that. I'm going to find the beginning of that clip, and that's right there. Clip that out. And here's our next piece. It's that easy to come in and put in pieces, even clip into video. Again, I want just three seconds of this piece. It's going to be at 9.01 approximately, which is right about there. That's nine, close enough. And let's delete that. So there's three clips brought in. Now, if you want to do transitions between your clips, you have a whole bunch to choose from. It's up here where it says transition. It's our next section. Lots of transitions in here. Now to see how these behave, just hover your mouse for a second over that transition and you'll see a video play which shows you how that transition works. There's some really fancy ones in here or some fairly simple ones. Here's a standard friend like that. I'm going to do some real simple things. I'll start off with this one right here. Pretty simple. And the way these work is you click on a video on your video track and then you add your transition to that and it puts the transition after so our transition is right here. I'll go to the next video clip and I'll do a new transition down here. Let's find something similar. I'll do a diagonal wipe this time. Hit that plus key and that comes in after that clip. Let's now see if this works. I'll put this back to the beginning. The easy way is just to click on your first video piece, your video element. It takes you back to the beginning. Hit that play button and we'll then play this through. It's about three seconds and here's our transition. And then here's another transition right in there. Okay. Now after that, we have several effects in here. These are simply recolorizations. Well, the new ones up here will need to be downloaded. Notice this little download button right there. Simply click that, it's going to then download that. Now again, these are all video coloration, contrast, saturation kind of effects. So if I'm over here and I'll grab this one, I'll just add this. That adds in this cool coloration onto that video clip. You'll also see the icon down here. Now it's kind of hard to see these little clips. We can stretch out our timeline Going over here, right hand side, you can zoom in or zoom out, or easier, just click on this button, and that zooms the timeline to fit. That's about as big as we can go with our real small clips. If you want to get rid of one of these, just right click and delete. There we go. We've removed that coloration. So pretty easy to come in here and do these different colorization effects. Now, if you want to have a different adjustment on this, you can do that over here on the right hand side. We have our video properties, and under basic, we have contrast, saturation, and brightness. Now, this needs more contrast. It's kind of low contrast, maybe a little bit too bright, possibly, to match these other scenes, like that one. So, let's go over here, and I'm going to increase my contrast quite a bit. This one needs a lot, actually. Be darkening it down just a little bit, and I'll increase my saturation a little bit in here. And there we go. That's a better feeling match to our other video clips. So pretty easy to come in and do some adjustments in here on the right hand side with our video properties. If we wanted to, we also could flip this left or right or up or down or even rotate to any degree. So we have rotation adjustments. You can adjust the speed. And if you want to, you can even reverse the video so it goes backwards. If the video has audio, you can adjust your audio right here. Right now, this has some audio on it, but there's nothing on the audio, so it shows 100%. I could adjust that by clicking over here and either turning it off or on, or come back down to the timeline. And notice we have an audio line showing down here on that film clip. And here's the audio. I can just actually click on that to mute that audio. So we've now removed or muted that audio. Pretty easy to come in and adjust the properties for each one of your separate video clips. They all have their own properties, as you can see up here. If you want to add text on your project, also easy to do. That's our next section right up here. And all kinds of text. Just hover over this again. You'll see what that looks like. There's a little bit of text right in there. Some of these are just still text. Some of these have animation to them. I'll be using this one down here. It's just a still title. Click on the plus sign and that brings that in right here. Now it's kind of hard to see. And if you notice, these are actually two pieces. There's one piece of text here and one piece of text down here. I don't want to use this one. So I'm just going to back over that and delete the text. The box can stay. That's not a problem, but it's now invisible. Okay, up here, let's give this one a name. There we go. Not too bad, but we can do better than that. You can reposition this. Over here, right-hand side, here's your text properties. There's what it says. I can even change what it says right here. Just type it in there. I can change the font face that's being used. I'll leave it at the Arial. I'll go to Bold. There's the color of the text. You can change the color to anything you want. Put it back to white. And here is the color of a background section. So you can actually do a highlight or background just for your text right there. Just kind of move that around position that where you want it. And that's not too bad right in there. There we go. 
You also can make this transparent or not if you want to have some see-through ability. Notice that with the see-through, we're not getting a see-through effect with the highlight color here, but we are getting a see-through effect of the text. And we can do italic, align left, center, right. You have several options in here for the text size. Let's go up here to 80. There we go. And you can do line spacing if you have multiple lines of text. We're just doing one line of text, so we'll leave that as is. Now down below, this came in at four seconds long, as you can see here. I can adjust the length of this just by grabbing the right hand side of that and I'll pull that back and now it's the same length as that clip in there. Now notice if I had this this long that the text will actually overlap onto different scenes including overlapping onto the transition. We'll see that right here. Let's go ahead and click on play. There's our text. There's that transition. There is that new video scene. So you can have text going over multiple scenes and multiple transitions. I don't need that, so I'll just go ahead and pull that one back. If you want to have more text, just do the exact same thing. Click on the video clipper you want to have the text applied. Click the plus sign. There is your text. This time it came in and matched that text. We also can add motion effects onto our video clips. And that's our next option right there. So I want to zoom in a little bit on here. And for that, I'm just going to do a pan left. I'll add a pan left onto it. That has a zoom in effect to get that fitting and we'll then see a pan left on that video clip. There's our pan left action. If you want to remove that, you see our pan left is right here. Again, in video property, I can hit the trash can and then just delete that pan left effect. But I'll leave that on at this point. Let's now put a title card at the beginning of this whole thing. I'll just go back to our first video frame right there. Click on your video frame. That resets your playhead to the beginning. Let's go back here to text. And if we scroll down, you'll find some video cards right in here, some title cards. And same thing, if you hover over the video card for a moment, you'll see the effect. And there we go, that's the one that I actually used in my sample. Click on the plus sign, and that drops that in. And here we go. So to change your text, just click into it. You can then retype it up here. I'll just call this Happy Squirrels. We also can change again the typeface right here. And this finds something a bit more fun. It's okay, but it's kind of small, I think a bit larger. There we go. And then I'll click outside and then back on top and I can then reposition this somewhere. I'll put it centered right here. And let's change our text inside this text box. I'll call this a day. Let's make that bold. And I'll put it at the beginning right there. And then down to this one. And then call it at the park. And I think I'll just capitalize park while I'm at it. Make that bold and then bring that in as well. Now these already have animation built in. And even though I move things around, the animation will still work. We can see that right here. Hit the play button. And there is our drop-in animation, just like that. At this point, I want to add in my opening flower scene. We can add in more media at any point. Go back here to the import media files. And that one's backed up one folder here. And I'll come down and have that one right down here. There we go. That's the one. Hit open. It loads that in. And here's the flower scene. I'm going to come back here to our first frame. And I'll take this flower and bring it right down here and put it in place of that one. Notice how I was coming down on top of this scene and moved everything down to make space for this little flower clip. Now again, I just want three seconds in here. So let's take a look at our time. That's at 5.01. So I'll make this at 8.01. So I'll pull my playhead forward to 8.01. Just watching my time right down there. There's seven and there's eight. There's 8.01. Hit the split. I'll now take this piece. I'm just going to drag it down towards the end down here. And I'll reuse that at this point. Also, this is just three seconds. Right now we're at 1703, so 2003. Pull us forward to 2003, or about 20 is close enough. There's 02. Hit that split, and then delete key to remove that last bit. And now I have some video at the ending and at the beginning, kind of the same flyover thing. Let's add a title card. So go back up here to text, and I'll score to the top. And I'll use this one right there. I like this one a lot. Hit the plus sign. Notice that that brings the text in at my playhead position. So if I want to change my text position, just move it around anywhere you want. You also can overlap text. Notice I can put text above other text. You can have multiple lines of text if you want to. Right now, I just want it right here. That's fine. And let's just give this a new name in here. I'll call it Sequoia Squish, which I just made up. You can resize these background elements. Just click on the element like that. I can then grab these handles here and resize those elements so you have a bit more flexibility in there. You can even move things around and move that up. And I'll grab my text and reposition the text. And I think that looks good. I'll leave that overlap. Let's play this. There is that title. And we have our change in the background. Now, I don't have a transition in here. 
Let's go ahead and add one in for here and add one in for here. Whenever you add in a new clip, it automatically deletes the transitions. So you have to re either reapply those or add new ones depending upon your need. Same thing again, choose the clip you want to have the transition after. Go back to your transitions. I'll just grab this filled down. There we go. Go to this clip and I'll do something else. It's kind of a movement like that to do that one right there. So we have our transitions and then I'll back up my text a bit here so it fits on that one scene without that transition. Now for the ending bit down here, let's say I wanted to have this go in the opposite direction like that. We can do that video property, come over here to speed and I'll do reverse. It'll go through then and just reverse that video clip. I'll go to the beginning of the video clip, hit the play button and we're now backing away instead of going in. So we've now reverse that video clip. Let's add some music beneath this. Easy to do. Let's go over here to media and music. If you want to hear the music, just hold your mouse for a second and it should begin to play that music. I'll use this one here, cheerleader. Hit that plus sign and it adds the music in down below. And notice that it clips the track at the right length for your total video. So we now have music in behind our video clip. And let's hear how that sounds. That's looking pretty good. Now, one more thing I want to show you here is up on elements. There are these animated elements you can add in on top of your video. Now, the ones that have this little icon need to be downloaded. So I'll just download this one, hit that download button, and then hover. And there's that little animation going on on that one. What I want to use this time, though, is down here at the bottom. We have this subscribe section. I'm going to move my playhead back to the beginning of this. Easy to do. Just click on that video clip resets that to the beginning and then we'll choose this subscribe. There we are, I'm gonna reposition it right down here. And then you can grab these control handles, actually resize it or scale it just by dragging your control handles. Let's now see how this looks. I'll play it from that point. There's the animation with our like, subscribe. Now our clip wasn't quite long enough to show that full animation. So I wanna extend my video clip. I'll grab that edge. I'll stretch that out. We have more video beneath it, as you can see. So pull it out long enough and we now should be able to see that full animation. I'll just pull the whole thing about that far. And let's make sure that works again. Hit the play button. And there's the full length animation. And I'll stop right there. Now I can then pull this back to that playhead position and that all fits perfectly. Now the music track didn't get stretched to match. So I'll just grab the end of that and I'll pull the music track out as well. And it now matches that same length. When you're happy with your video, first thing go up and file and then save your project or give it a new name, save project as. And let's just call this one Sequoia and choose save, there we are. And then to output this, go over here to export. Don't worry about that, we already changed that text. Here's your limitations for the free edition. We're fine, we're only at 22 seconds long for this, so no problem on that one. You can change your settings up here either for a PC or a device. Your device options here are iPhone, Apple TV, and so forth. I use a Galaxy Note, so I'll be using that one. You can give it a new name right here. I'll leave that as My Movie, and then I'll add in Sequoia. Here we go. Format, I want it on PC. You have all these different file formats to save out to. I'll be using the MP4 format. You can choose where to save that into. I'm saving it to the default location. You can adjust your resolution right down in here. Quality, best, better, or good. I'll go with the best quality right here. A couple of options on the encoder. I'll leave it at the default for that. Resolution looks good. Choose OK. There's our final size. Here's our duration. And then click on Export. And it's then going to export out that video to your MP4 file format. Whenever you're working with video, things like export can always take a long time. So just be aware that working with very large files. And we're done. Now, Find Target is just going to... Take you right to the location where you had that video file saved. Right now it's just saved to my OneDrive location. I'll open this thing up. Now I have my videos set to open up in the VLC media player. Let's see how this looks. Double click on that. Don't worry about the text down here. That's just part of the VLC to show what the file name is. And here's our nice video. Nice transitions. There's the drop tower text we added in. Transition. Caterpillar text right there. There's our octopus. And then go into our ending scene with the like subscribe overlay. As you can see, very easy to make videos here using the mini tool Movie Maker. Again, this is the free version, which you can do up to two minute long videos, which is perfect for YouTube Shorts or TikTok or Instagram. If you like this video, hit that like button, click on subscribe, and I'll see you next time.